Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Kiss Him, Not Me, Episode 5. And if you guys notice, I'm actually talking at a decent level of volume this time for this review. Um, that's because I'm actually able to do that. Uh, my apartment's pretty empty today for the most part. I still have to be quiet because of course I have neighbors to worry about. But I can actually talk at I think what a, should be an audible level for once. Which usually is kind of a shocker for people with these uh, reviews. And I do apologize for that guys. But if I talk too loud, my dad can hear it in the next room. And I don't want to wake him up during the night even though he's this is his off day he does tend to work sometimes too on these days so yeah so anyways i just want to say right now this was the best episode i'm glad i could talk at a full volume because this is the best episode of kiss him not me so far to date i loved everything about this episode i loved the stuff it stood for and what it really was talking about and how, kind of just the nuances of I want to say stuff you don't see typically in romance anime in general, and you're seeing it here, which is very interesting to me. So let's get into what, what was happening with the episode. Now, the first part really isn't really that important, the very, very beginning, the first couple of minutes, where we see um, Kai still thinking about the kiss that she got from uh, Shima in the last episode, which, you know, I think was a surprise to, I think, everyone that was watching the show, unless maybe you read the manga to that point, but... Um, you know, it's she's kind of make, trying to make it in her head like, okay, that was nothing more than a friendly kiss. It was nothing more than that. Just, you know, try to kind of shake it off and not think about it too much. Now, the next day, we actually have the, the class and the group together. And they're talking about this uh, Mirage Saga of Valentine's Day event where you can, you can um, hand in, essentially, Valentine's Day chocolates in the shape of characters or whatever. And the best one is going to be the one that wins and you get to meet the... Uh, voice actors and the creators etc and so kai really wants to win so she asks the you know everyone to kind of help her out and of course with the reluctancy everyone decides you know what yeah let's do it we'll help her out now despite kai starting off really good showing like this nice character animation drawing that she took from um shima she fails horribly and she starts like eating and devouring the chocolate she's like nah this this, this doesn't show how much i love the show it doesn't show my feelings and emotions etc so she spends days and days trying to make the perfect design and what she comes up with is not the perfect design it's this weird look i didn't take a picture of it unfortunately but it's this weird looking caricature almost of a character and she over here makes this really nice one that looks perfect like the main character of the show that she loves so much and she's like hey listen you could kai you could take my object and turn it in for her you you know don't worry about it. it's no big deal you'll win most likely because of this and she goes, no, I don't want to do that. I feel weird doing that. So she ends up turning in her own object. Now, during this moment, we have uh, Igarashi and uh, Shima talking to one another. And Igarashi says something about, oh, you you know, you think she's just really cute, don't you? That's why you're so in love with her. And Shima goes, isn't that more you that, you know, you see her, your image, you see this cute girl in front of you, but you're not really into like what makes her beat, what makes her tick. And what's funny about that is him and Nana are on the roof at one point and he kind of i want to say foreshadows an event that's going to happen in a couple of minutes where you know he goes he loves he loves kai but he doesn't at the same time understand fully how his love will be tested with a certain event now remember back to the part that she failed a whole bunch of times with the chocolate well she ate all that chocolate and became the old kai that we remember from the very beginning of the series the reactions from people were great especially nana who has the best reaction of him gurgling up like he goes i, I can't believe this is happening i can't believe and so what they decided to do is they decide you know what let's let's help her lose weight she needs to lose weight so him and the other dude i, I believe um i believe that's asuma i believe uh no i actually is that Asuma or is that hayato uh, I believe that must be most likely Hayato, if I'm saying that right. Hopefully I am. I could be slightly wrong, but I think it's Hayato. Um, him and Hayato, so we have these two teaming up to go, okay, we're going to help her lose weight. Don't worry, we got this. And they help her do various exercises and all this stuff. And, you know, and it's putting a mental toll on her and physically, mentally, that she's not losing the weight. Because, of course, it's not that easy to lose weight once you got all the weight back. So, it, you know, she's trying to lose weight and she's failing at it horribly. At one point, they try Otegi, which if you guys watch any of the Vocaloid concerts or stuff like that, even like J-pop or K-pop concerts is where people dance and, you know, kind of just like essentially just dance and do all these movements and stuff like that. You know, it's 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 a cute thing. Apparently, as he as um, Nana says in the beginning of this, he goes, "Oh, it's something that." Or me, Hayao says this actually. He goes, "Oh, it's something that otaku's can do. That's why otaku's love doing it so much. It's a dance they could do." And you know, Kai's like, "Oh my god, I can do this!" But she ends up hurting herself. Now, this is when it causes everyone to kind of re relax and realize, "Hey, we need to approach this differently." You know, this is not working out the way it is. She's hurt by this, etc. And 
what's funny is that um, Shima starts hanging around Kai a lot to the point that Igarashi realizes that she's getting kind of troubled by hanging around with Shima so much that he pulls her to the side and brings up the roof and they talk to one another for a little while. And this is when Igarashi realizes, hey, I love this girl not because the way she looked, but because of what makes her tick. And I'm like, that's Igarashi, you just jumped up to the best main character this whole story. I'll be honest with you. It is something that, you know, I think, and not to get too spiritual with this or, or too wisdom if, wisdom filled or whatever you want to call it, but I feel that is so true and so honest that you have to see past someone's beauty and what they may or may not look like to in your mind and just see what makes them tick and what makes their quirks and what makes their likes and dislikes resonate with you. It's not always about how you look on the outside. It's about more than that. And I love that he realizes it here. And it's, you know, Nana doesn't fully realize it. He's like, what the hell? What are you seeing that I don't don't see but I I Igarashi goes hey you know I see that I am a more love with her now because I finally realized that besides the way she looks yeah she looks cute when she's you know normal weight but she has so many traits about her the cheerfulness and the happiness that she has that's you know those are what are the positives of her and that's what he's in love with and I'm like Igarashi good job man good fucking job that is the way to be honestly that's awesome and so what they decide to do, though, is this is more a Nana and a Hayato concept is they decide, you know what, let's make her lose weight the way she's going to be able to lose weight. And so they create this BL, which, of course, as you guys know, is boy love. They create this boy love chart of every time she loses a certain amount of weight, they reward her by doing something weird that they really aren't comfortable with, but they do it in front of her to give her incentive to lose weight. And she's like, how much is a hug? And he's like, you have to lose three kilograms. And he's, she's like, oh my god, I'll do it in five minutes. And she's like doing push-ups and, and all this. It's like, you know, and then Shima realizes Igarashi's a threat now because she sees that, you know, he's treating her uh, he's treating her very differently than he was before because he now realizes he's really in love with her, not just because of the way she looks. And of course, all this cultivates to her losing weight. And with the last scene, thank God they didn't show it, with most likely Nana and Igarashi kissing one another. I'm glad they didn't show that. Thank God for that. Uh, but they do heavily imply it because that was apparently the last thing that she had that if she won and she actually lost all the weight, she would get that reward. You know, I am amazed that I saw something like this from this anime because this is something that's not very explored in anime. You know, typically every character always is a very skinny, very petite, very, you know, masculine looking or, or very sexualized character. And I love Kai's character because she is what otakus, a lot of otakus look like in many ways. I just, I'm not saying in a mean way, but a lot of otakus aren't the best looking dudes and girls out there. But the thing is that another otaku or a person that really cares for them will understand, hey... That's not what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at their outer beauty. I'm looking at what makes them tick and what makes them so cool to me. And I understand that fully because, you know, that is how you should be looking at people. And that is something that I think people don't realize sometimes. So, you know, maybe this is a wake-up call for some of you. Maybe I'm just saying this out of my ass and, you know, uh, it's kind of late, so I'm talking about this. But I would say that, honestly, God, if you like someone right now and you see something that you don't like about them or you feel maybe they could be a little bit better looking or whatever, hey, listen, you know what? Don't look at the outer stuff. Look at what makes them a person inside because that, to me, has always been more important than whatever they are physically outside. I've never judged a girl based on their looks outside. I've always judged how they are personality wise and how they talk and how they act and what what makes them you know resonate with me and that's something that i think a lot of people do not do and that's why i love this episode because honestly this episode is something that needs to be more shown in anime that's why right now kiss him not me just went up so many scales on my anime list i'll be honest with you right now like grade wise Woo. anyways guys and girls great episode overall i will talk to you later hopefully you have a nice blessed night Remember, guys, listen, it's not, girl doesn't need to always look a certain way. And the guys really need to focus on that sometimes. The girls also, guys don't always look need to look a certain way. They, they, it's what inside the matters. Come on, think about that. Anyways, I will talk to you all later. Have a great night. God bless you all. Bye-bye.